especially with the one some of the the hip hop artists that aren't so high profile that are more underground so to speak they they don't talk so much about themselves they talk about more hey this is this thing that's going on and this guy doesn't pay attention to it but I do so we're going to talk about this and and that's what their platform is and and these rap battles are kind of platforms for the things that they're passionate about and they battle it out with each other about who's more passionate about these different subjects and who's doing more to help the other people on the streets or, or from where they came from. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's another thing that you, you don't think of. It's like it's passive activism, so to speak. It's not something that you're going to see like broadcast right in front where you can see it all the time where it's a product for you to buy, but it's more like you, you, you go out and you, you almost have to find it. You have to look for it and, and you can kind of stumble over it and you don't really know that it's even out there. Right. Well, you mentioned something earlier about Beatles, you know, and, and plus the music in, in Imagine by mm-hmm. John Lennon. So, you know, that's another way of looking at it, too. I mean, like I said, we've been saying before that he was very into, you know, world peace and trying to make everyone a better life. It's, but he wrote the song Imagine for that cause, and it's still being played today. Mm-hmm. And even even the album that that song came from um it was called uh, sometime in new york city um the entire album was was about was about this this the politics that he believed in and and about peace and about social justice and so many things that that you wouldn't expect necessarily to be present in music and even the Beatles as a whole before they all broke up the Beatles as a band later in their career were were banned from a lot of the the Soviet countries um, because of their music because their music was seen in those countries as as subversive it was promoting values that those countries didn't want in their country and the Beatles were just you know they just wanted to spread peace and love that kind of thing you know and they didn't see these things as subversive. And it wasn't until after they broke up that, that John Lennon kind of thought more that, yeah, this is kind of subversive, and but it's a good subversive. If you get people thinking about peace and thinking about love and you really get them to really focus on these things. So it's kind of like a activism in a sense of like passive activism, but, but really kind of like subtle, kind of just sneaking it in there behind music that might not sound necessarily like it's like it's very aggressively pushing for a cause but once you get in there once you let it kind of seep in a little bit right yeah and and with, when musicians can do kind of that it's kind of they're doing it kind of uh an intelligent kind of way kind of sneaking it out in so people want want aware of it and then when it happens you're kind of thinking about it that song, you know, like walking down the road, or you driving, you're thinking about that song. They're like, "Hey, yeah, that's got you thinking," and mm-hmm. that's basically what's for. Yeah, and and a lot of that happens. And even going back to something I said much earlier in the show, you have you have quite the opposite that happens too. Like you have a, a big artist like Toby Keith, the country artist who's very patriotic, and he says, "Hey, you know." these terrorists or these so-and-so came over here and we're going to go over there and we're going to show them who's boss and, you know, all these things. And it's the same kind of thing. It's still activism on, on the other end, on the other end of the scale. It's just more more brusque, more aggressive, more, hey, I'm, I'm proud of this and I'm proud of that and I'm going to tell you why and we're going to do this. Let's go do this now. Let's go do this thing and let's all be glad about it. And, and whether you agree with it or not, it's, it's, it's sounds positive. On the, on the surface, mm-hmm. no, it could, it could come come it could come across positive. Mm-hmm. And other place, people who are not familiar with that kind of behavior could possibly be aggressive. Mm-hmm. And it's not necessarily even pushing for let's go and start a bunch of wars. It's just hey, let's let's go defend this. Let's defend our freedom. Let's defend this that we have because it's being threatened and and. So activism, it, it, it's a tough thing. It's it, it exists pretty much everywhere right now. 
the way mm-hmm. that society is and and it's hard to say what's good and what's not it's it's just difficult there's so many causes out there to choose between and and it's easy to pick one that might not be very helpful and it's sometimes difficult to pick the ones that that would really make a big difference yeah for sure yeah um that's a very good point all right guys i'm gonna take a little tiny little break for a music break and i'll be right back right out of the rhythm and made up my mind based here in seattle
Join us April 13th on Let's Talk About the Music when the Action Adventure Circus Super Geek League will be talking everything geek. Find out why they are the most unique performance group in the Pacific Northwest. Also on the show co-hosting will be myself, character voice actor and vocal impersonator Ty the Voice Guy. All this and more April 13th starting at 8 p.m. on Let's Talk About the Music. In the past 12 months, almost half a million Australian women reported that they had experienced sexual or physical abuse in their homes. As of September 24, 2015, 63 women have died.